Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching Embroidery and Design. I'm going to show our new users and other users that may have been using uh, Sew Up Pro for a while and don't realize that we have a very good help feature within the program. I'm going to start my Sew Up Pro. And uh, this is what pops up because I have this box checked on Sew Up Pro. It shows tips on startup. If you're a beginner to Sew Up Pro, I would advise you having this box checked because every time you open it, you'll learn something new about Sew Up Pro. Right here, for instance, it says to read the manual on their website, and you can also download it. Uh, here's another tip. You check for updates, and it explains how to do that, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to close this. If you decide you don't like that box and uh, it annoys you, just click Help, select Tip of the Day and uncheck show tips on startup and then it won't pop up every time you open Sew Up Pro. And this is uh, checked to this box on my Sew Up Pro. It says check for information about Sew Up Pro and this gives you information about how to access help and access the website. So you can uncheck this if you don't need it but if you're new you know I would advise keeping that up for a couple weeks while you're learning how to use it. I'm going to open up a file on my computer And uh, I'm going to show you something interesting about Sew Up Pro. Uh, if you click the help in the cursor icon here, just select that. And also, as you hover over it, it tells you what it is, too. Whoops, let me click off here. That was my fault. Okay, let's hover over it and see it says help. You can also hold down your shift button and the F1 button, and that will bring up help as well. So this is one of the shortcuts, or you can uh, just click help and help topics. It's, it'll also give you a lot of the help features. Uh, right now I'm going to show you about this. This is the cursor and the help, and it's got the little question mark. So if you click over something on Sew Up Pro, uh, for instance, one of these thread uh, colors here, this will give you an information about the workspace. It'll tell you all about Sew Up Pro and what different parts of the workspace are. See, there's our thread colors. This is a histogram that shows how the stitches are used in the design. Uh, I really don't use that very often. I keep that unchecked. This is the workspace. And then these are the other different parts of the help. This explains about the menus. If you click on any of these, the file menus, for instance, uh, anytime you click on, for instance, file, this will show you uh, new, open, merge, for instance, but also on some of these, close doesn't have it, but new does. You can see control in the letter N. That means that in addition to clicking file, you can, to access these menu items here, you can hold down the control button and the letter N, and that'll give you a new design, uh, you know, new project to work on. Or you can do control S, and that's the same as hitting save. Uh, here's the edit menu. Let's minimize this so we can see. And view, which would be up here, with this view button. I've got it uh, on top of the window on top of the so it pro program so you can kind of see. And tools, it's the same thing. Like I said, you can see. Uh, like for instance the just density it's also got a picture of the icon that corresponds to it the icon is up here on the toolbar you can click that instead of clicking the uh, words up here and like I said you can also get to a shortcut control G if you want grid lines uh, if you want the grid lines removed it's the same difference you can toggle off and on by doing control and G again We'll go back up here to our help menu. Uh, you can also do an index where you can see an alphabetical listing of different help items and then select the one that you want. Just to give you an idea. And there's lots of great graphics on here. And then, you know, this is self explanatory search. So let's close this. Uh, 
and you know like I said uh, this button here anytime you click on any of the menu items you've got a cursor with a little question mark on it and it'll explain exactly uh, what that feature does I just clicked on the border icon and this uh, explains how to add a border And I hope this was helpful to you, and you have a very great day. Thanks for stopping by. Check out the rest of my videos on the snscomputing.com website or on uh, the YouTube channel, Terry Laughlin. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.